guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to today's prep update. I'm gonna start off here, besides posing, with a full day of eating. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating today. I'm gonna finish my closing practice, and then I've got a snack that I'm gonna show you guys. And let's get the day started. Feeling tired, feeling good, and I can see a difference this week, so it's awesome. back right now we're actually still in Burnett. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it Bastrop. I have been working out at the Y, the YMCA here in Burnett and for the week it's only three workouts but um, I talked with my coach yesterday so I do check-ins every Thursday with her and um, she said things are moving along really well. She's actually really happy with how my body's leaning out really evenly. She said everything, typically, um, as we're getting leaner, our body likes to choose where it stores and loses fat first, and that's just biologically how we work. You know, typically for women, our stomach and our thigh and our um, low, like midsection are the places that we gain it first and we lose it last, and that's how I've always been. But she said that um, everything seems to be leaning out evenly, which is completely new to me and that's so cool to see because over time um, I have seen other people as well as seen it on myself especially now that as your body changes composition with lifting and um, gaining lean muscle mass it actually stores fat differently and that's really really neat because I'm already seeing my stomach leaning out and at the weight that I'm at now averaging about 140 pounds I've never seen hints of my abdominal muscles at this weight, so it's really cool to see, and the fact that my quads are getting lean already when they were the last spot to lean out for my last show, it's really encouraging, so I'm really excited to see how things continue to progress along. Now, <laughs> I'm still out of breath because um, Matt dropped me off at the Y to do my workout and this week is actually my deload week so I take the weight, I lower the weight and I reduce my overall um, set by one. So I'm doing two sets of most exercises and I'm lowering the weight to about like 80% of what I normally do. Um, and it's just a way to help my central nervous system and help my muscles recover 
um, recover more as I go throughout this prep, especially whenever I'm in a deficit. Um, we're going to be doing that every four weeks, which is a lot more frequently than I'm used to, but it makes sense whenever you're in a prep and you're in a uh, more restrictive type of caloric deficit and your activity level is overall higher. Um, you want to make sure and give your body enough rest, and that's something that I have failed to do in the past, and it went and it, and it bit me in the butt um, since I didn't do it. But I went in, and I tried to keep it quick because him and Brady were just waiting in the car, so I supersetted everything. I didn't rest, I did my sprints, and it was probably, I want to guess it was probably about 45 minutes when it would have taken me at least an hour before, and that workout was tough. I probably could have rested a little bit more. Um, again, the overall volume of the weight is lower, so it's still technically a deload workout, but I did push a lot harder as far as cardiovascular endurance goes, so it was nice to do that, um, but now, now I feel pretty freaking tired, so I think I might have some coffee when we get back to the place. Um, but all in all, prep is doing well. She did update my macronutrients this week again. Um, and in case you guys are interested, of course, anytime I talk about numbers as far as like cardio and weight and macronutrients go, these are specific for my body, my goals, and, and what I'm doing right now. So I would never recommend somebody taking my macronutrient goals and just plugging them into their, their own diary or their own intake because it's not going to work for you. Um, but right now my protein is at 140 grams daily. I've got five lower intake days and two higher intake days. So on my five lower intake days, I have 50 grams of fat and 180 grams of carbs. And then on my two higher days, I've got 60 grams of fat and 240 grams of carbs and 140 protein on both days. So my intake is still relatively high. I've still got 12 weeks, so I'm a little nervous to see how low we might have to get my intake as the weeks go on. I'm hoping that my body continues just to respond well and that we can possibly come in. Um, I might be lean enough early so that we can actually add calories leading up to the show, but that's something that we will deal with when we get there. Um, and I wanted to get footage of my gym workouts at the YMCA, but it being a new environment and most of those people being a lot older, I don't want to take my camera in. Um, I don't even like to use my phone to film anything just because it's uncomfortable for me and it can make other members uncomfortable, um, especially at a YMCA. I know that the the people that go there aren't really used to uh, people filming in the gym. It's, it's more of like a family friendly type of place and they don't they don't want to be on somebody else's YouTube video so um, I haven't bothered with the camera but I've got one more workout this week and the Matt and I have some plans for this weekend and that's about it um, I'm, I'm feeling great per usual I do notice that I'm getting a bit hungrier um, but that's to be expected whenever you're lowering your intake um, and it's mostly on the lower days I think I'm gonna make it today higher carb day because I am especially hungry today. So yeah, that's going to be it for right now, but I will see you guys in the next clip.